Hi, this is Anne with a real quick anagram on creating your first C++ REPL. Um, since the REPLit environment may be new to some of you, and even if you've used it for a different class, uh, running C++ is just a tad different. I thought I'd do one quick version of this. Uh, it's a little hard to know where you'll land when you open up REPL to do this exercise. This is um, the page if you have just um, just subscribe to our class. Now, um, you don't need to actually work within the class at all. Um, the class sign up allows me to keep track of who has gotten this far in the exercises, but I am not doing assignments or anything from the class yet. Um, and may not. So um, what you normally will do is um, end up in a page that looks more like this, my REPLs. Um, this is my cat's page. Um, he has a lot of REPLs. You won't have those yet. So um, what you want to do is wherever you have landed in REPLit, you want to look for this blue new REPL button, um, and you'll probably be in a much simpler environment. So um, I'm going to click new REPL. Okay, and I get this dialog that allows me to choose what language I'm going to um, do my project in. And um, since I code HTML, CSS, and JavaScript a lot, that shows up um, as a default for me. But I can either pull this down or I can type, I can start typing C, and I'll get a variety of um, C environments. Be sure that you choose C++, not C Sharp, not plain old C that you're doing projects in C++. And um, for the first project, I think we're just going to call that demo since the second project is also Hello World. So um, you don't have this option. Well, actually, Cat doesn't have this option either. Um, you can't make your REPLs private. Um, you're making them public. So you create this REPL. OK. And um, with C++, it's, um, you get this tiny little bit of working code. So um, at the point that this, uh, this REPL project is created, you get a main.cpp file. That file has fully functional code in it, unless you screw it up by dragging code around. I'm going to control Z that back into goodness. And the run button should work. Okay. Now, um, and you can see over here, there's a command line, a uh, compiler command that is given, and then the executable dot main is run, and you get this output. So if you were to change this to hello C++ universe, which I think I'll put in the directions for you, um, nothing happens over here until you hit the run button again. The code is recompiled, it's rerun, and then you see the modified output. So um, that's all. What you are going to want to do, what I need you to do, is whenever you share a REPL link with me, do not use this, which is the link you're going to use to get to your own code. Always use this invite link. And the way to remember it is, here, it shows your username and then the name of the project. Um, here, here, it shows, um, we don't want to leave that page. Um, here, it shows a code and then your username at the end. And this is the version that I always need. So grab that and when you are creating the doc for um, turning in, that's the doc you'll use. Uh, more soon about REPL as a coding environment and possibly a demo for the next part of the exercise, but that should be good enough for now.